Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. We got another computer on the bench today. We got a Dell, uh, I don't even know what kind of Dell this is. Uh, I don't know if it's a Latitude, Precision, Inspiron, not sure. Uh, this right here was actually kind of given to me or whatever. So, anyway, uh, don't know too much about it. So, let's see here. As you see, it says Dale. All right. What does it say down here? Intel Core inside has Windows 7. This right here is a small form factor. Didn't come with a power cable or nothing like that. Uh, but we do have a power cord, you know, VGA cable. Uh, I really haven't looked at this too much. So, anyway, uh, let's, let's go ahead and let's dive into this here and let's see what this thing has to offer. Take that. Do it like that. It looks like it's uh, two screws here, so we need to zap those two screws out. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my little screws out of here. I'm gonna take those out. Slides off like that. Let us lean her up to the side like that. See if we can get y'all in a little bit closer. A little bit too close. May have to use the overhead mount. This right here doesn't look bad at all. I mean, this thing right here looks neat. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Oh, okay, I see something already. <laughs> Do you see it? What's this card right here? Oh, wow, look. It even has a SSD drive up in it, too. Looks like a sand disk, something like that. There's the power supply. Let me show y'all this other fan right here. Kind of hidden. It's on the top. Right here. And, uh, I don't think there's uh, too many people that have actually done a in-depth video on this in particular model. There is a uh, Dell Inspiron, I forget uh, this exact model, uh, 580, uh, and then this right here is the 580S, which I want to say the S stands for small, but yeah, anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. All right, so uh, I'm curious of how this bracket here comes off. Let me see. Get my hand out the way. We'll have to keep up with all these screws here. Uh, I got plenty more of these, but anyway, yo, we just kind of lay them to the side. Now, how do you unzip it? I'm trying to figure this uh, part here out. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I see how it. I see how it. Uh, it swings out. Okay. 
and we got the cables right there and you lift up the cables these cables right here they was right up under here so uh let me get a red marker uh for those that don't know i do have a brain injury and uh i tend to forget stuff so uh yeah i miss marking that and that right there so yeah we'll lay this to the side right here i'm very curious of what this guy right here is all right so let me kind of wrestle with this right here a little bit see how to get this guy here out All right, so we got this guy right here. It looks like it's some type of, oh, okay. It's a, it's a Wi-Fi card. And I'm not even in frame. Like, what am I doing here? Like, are you serious? All right, so uh, here is the WLAN card right here. All right, and it's, it was uh, right here in this slot here. It was right there. No back plate, nothing. But yeah, this right here is the card. Uh, can't really see all this here. Uh, it has two wires. So that's what that looks like. Then we have this right here. So here's what the car looks like, like that. All right, so it has a SanDisk SSD Plus solid state drive. Let's see how we will remove this here. Uh, we'll disconnect this here. All right, there's that. All right, looks like you would take this right here and you would just do that. Decides it wants to cooperate. All right, so uh, there we have that. Okay, I see. Uh, so you got this. Uh, you got this screw right here. This screw right here. It goes down here then off camera you have to slide it right up in here i want to say all all this down up in here it looks like it's yeah like power uh it goes like to the the front of the computer and all that stuff maybe for like the led lights and all that stuff this screw needs to go right here Oh yeah, and this screw over here, yeah, this screw over here, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a screw that needs to go over here, and over here, hopefully, uh, I'm getting y'all, boom. Hopefully, uh, that I got that on uh, camera. Now we're gonna test it. We're gonna use a uh, multimeter. We just wanna connect this to the black. 
this to red. All right. You want to put this right here to 20 volt. So yeah, set that to 20 volt. You're gonna grab your positive lead. You're gonna touch the positive, and then you're gonna touch that right there to the bottom of the battery and it's reading 3.0 volt that tells us that the battery is most definitely good it's time to install the CMOS battery now we have a CMOS battery so now uh, we're just going to uh, reinstall this here I would like to try see what I need to do to get this card working put in our screw y'all will see it's powered on okay so the computer it powered itself down now it powered itself back up okay keyboard failure CMOS checksum error strike F1 to continue and load default values it turns out that this right here needs Windows installed. Alright, you have to uh, press F F12 and you have to be pretty quick. This one to next. Install now. I will right, delete partition one and two. System reserve, and then we're going to go to drive zero. Partition one, delete, and we're going to click next. And now it's going to go ahead and it's going to start installing Windows 11. I just took out my disk. All right, so uh, here is your freshly brand new install of Windows 11. First things first, what I like to do is right click on the charms, do a search, and what do you think I'm gonna do? Check for updates. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. All right, download and install. All right, now we're just going to install the side panel. And we're going to put in the uh, two screws in the back. I want to apologize about how the end of this video had ended. I had actually lost some video clips. I don't know what happened or how it happened. 
I look through all my video clips. As you can see right now here, we have 10.9 gigabyte actual footage. It's a lot of footage, a lot of uh, editing and stuff. I wanted to let y'all know that this computer is up and running just fine. However, I am needing to find the graphics driver. I thought that Windows 11 would install the driver through the Windows update, but that didn't work. I even tried to go to the official Dell website. I've done try Windows 7 64 bit. You go to category and then you can go to video. I've done try this driver here. I don't think none of these other drivers will work. As far as the card reader goes, I tried a driver. That driver did not work. Other than that, this computer is working just fine. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please give it a like subscribe stay tuned for more videos i got a whole lot more videos coming really really soon thanks for watching